What's good, people? Tunji from Cesar Graphics. Welcome to my channel. Now, don't get distracted by this, all right? I'm not teaching how to play guitar here, all right? So I'm teaching you guys how to achieve abstract party poster. I'm going to be teaching you guys how I add drama with my... I'm going to be teaching you guys how I add drama with my illustration. If you need the exercise file for this tutorial, simply make use of the link in the description section of this video. So sit back, relax, and keep watching. All right, so I'm going to create a new document now. I'm going to click on file and I'm going to select new. I'm going to call this, um, let's make it tribe party. All right, tribe um, party. Okay. And my width is going to be 1000. Height is going to be 1000. All right. So resolution is going to be 72. Color mode is going to be RGB. Now I'm going to leave every other settings the way they are. And I'm going to select the create button. Then I'm going to go straight to the exercise file and drag my image in here like so and hit the enter key. Now I'm going to drag my colors in because we're going to be picking from these colors here. And uh, for now, I'm going to hide this. I'm going to create my background using the hair of my subject here. So I'm going to zoom in and select the uh, uh, lasso tool here and I'm going to draw a shape. All right, so I'm going to draw that here like so, and I'm going to hit Ctrl J and drag this behind the layer of my subject and hit Ctrl T to activate transform and hold on Alt and drag to make this real big like so. Now this is looking messy, right? So we need to fix it. All right, so I'm going to go, so I'm going to go to filter now and I'm going to select pixel it and select uh, mosaic. All right, mosaic. All right, so I'm going to increase my mosaic to um 65 here and select the okay button now this is not where we're going to stop so i'll go straight to future again and select liquify i'm going to use the forward warp to here to play with my background here so i'm going to drag this down and drag this down and drag this down down now we're creating our background all right so i'm going to drag this down like so and down right down down So we just have to play with this, play with this, play with this. So this is okay, all right? So I'm going to click on the okay button here. So this is what we have now, all right? Then I'm going to activate curve because, you know, this is too visible for me. All right, so I'm going to use curve to just reduce the quality of the brightness. And this should go down here like so. All right, this is beautiful. All right, so for our image here, I'm going to make a copy of this and just call this backup, all right? So I'm going to call it BCK up, all right? And I'm going to right-click and rasterize this. Now, the reason why I'm rasterizing it is because I don't want to slow down my PC, all right? I don't want my PC to run slowly, so that's the reason why I rasterize it, okay? So I'm going to... Uh, Click on filter here and I'll go to blur here and hit the surface blur option right here. So I'm going to make my radio six threshold is going to be 18 and I'm going to select the OK button. Then I'm going to go back to uh, my filter here and click on the filter gallery. I'm going to select um, artistic here and make sure that I'm on poster edges. And on my edge thickness here, I'm going to make use of seven edge intensity is going to be on zero and posterization is going to be two all right then we're going to click on the okay button go to the gradient adjustment um, tab here so if you can't find your adjustment tab simply go to windows and activate it right here so i'm going to activate gradient now and i'm going to go straight to my gradient editor here and import the gradient that I created for this tutorial. So I'm gonna to go to imports now and I'm gonna locate where I have it saved on my PC. This is it right here. So I'm gonna click on it and hit the load button. Now I'm not gonna hit the load button because I already have it on my list here. So this is it here. So I'm gonna select it now and hit the okay button. Now look at what we have. Now pause. I'm sure you're enjoying this tutorial. I have more party poster tutorial. I'm still gonna upload on my channel. For you not to miss this tutorial, kindly hit the subscribe button and remember to click the post notification bell so you get notified when i post these upcoming tutorials and if you like this video 
hit the thumbs up button now listen that's another way you can support me all right <laughs> okay so let's continue so now the next thing we're going to do is to make our colors visible because we need to start creating drama with our illustration here so i'm going to first off um hide this because i don't like this part here so i'm going to create uh, a new layer and select the brush to increase my brush size all right and i'm going to hold on alt and sample this color here make my gradient visible and just cover this all right we'll cover this side here like so okay and another thing i'm going to do again is um for this side here i'm going to reduce my brush and because i'm losing the details excuse me i'm going to hide this select this color here because i'm losing the details on the lips here so i'm going to just add this back all right like so all right let's see now this is good all right and i'll go to filter stylize and hit oil paint filter here all right and my oil paint filter is going to be i'm going to make this go down because i don't want that oil paint filter to be too strong now the reason why i'm using the oil paint filter is because i want to have smooth um edges like i want to have those colors on their um you know smooth um, uh, um edges all right so i'm going to make stylization 0 0.9 and i'm going to hit the okay button i think i prefer this this is looking beautiful already so i'm going to make a copy of this by hitting ctrl j and this should be above this image here selects adjustment and hit the trash old now i want to have more shadow on the project so i'm going to just reduce this all right like so all right and i think this is okay and i'm going to select the okay button i'll go to filter blur and hit the gaussian blur all right so i'm going to make this um 71 is fine i'm hit and hit the okay button and then i'll change my blend mode here to multiply so i'm going to just move this and position it here all right this is beautiful so what i'm going to do now is to start adding my strokes so i'm going to make a new layer and call this strokes all right and i'm going to hit the okay button then i'm going to hold on alt and pick this color here select my brush tool and i'm gonna go to my brush settings here make sure that your shape dynamic is checked now under your shape dynamic make sure you have pen pressure check all right so that's for the people with this all right so if you have this um you can change this to pen pressure but if you don't have it use fade please don't tamper with this all right just leave this and increase the diameter all right uh so that's for those of you that don't have a graphics tablet but if you have a graphics tablet um just change this back to pen pressure and you are gonna have uh, the same um move uh, that i'm gonna be making here all right so i'm gonna increase my brush size so i'll go under the brush tip here and i'm gonna make my brush uh let's say four yeah that's nice and my smooth is going to be 45 and um yeah that's it so let's start playing with the stroke here so i'm going to start from here i'm going to just draw a stroke right about here like so all right beautiful and i'm going to draw another stroke here all right all right so i have to just 
<laughs> fast forward this all right okay so then the next thing i'm going to do in now is to create a new layer again and just call this dots or let's just call it dot strokes those are dot strokes okay all right so i'm gonna be picking from here to do that so i'm gonna hold on um alt all right and pick this and just draw now we need to turn this back to zero all right so let me just that's too small So I'm going to pick a color again from here. So I'm holding on Alt as I pick the color. So I'm going to just do the same thing again here. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to pick this color again. Just. Okay, so I am going to stop on that. So, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide uh, this. And um, so because of time, all right, I decided to create the layout for this um, project. But if you are trying to come up with something similar to what I have here, um, I would advise you follow the same layout that I used on this project. And also, the font I use, the type I use to achieve this project, I'm going to put the link to where you can get everything in the description section of this video, all right? So I'm going to drag my layout and drop here, all right? So I already designed everything, and this is what it looks um, uh, like, okay? So uh, I'm going to stop here, guys. I'm glad you made it to the end of this tutorial if you have not subscribed. Remember to hit the subscribe button, and remember to click the post notification bell so you get notified when I post my tutorials share like and comment on this video and i can wait to see your version of this tutorial so kindly post it on your instagram page and remember to tag me my instagram handle is at sister graphics and i'll see you again in the next one peace mm -hmm.